Hi and welcome to the Arduino Spot Welder software upgrade video. During the last weeks we have been working on a big software update for the Arduino Spot Welder. In this video I will show you the new features. So let's power it up and take a look. The main screen has been updated so now it has a status bar at the top and the weld time setting as big as possible on the rest of the screen. The status bar shows you the weld mode, if it is in auto or in manual mode, the total welds that have been done and the battery bar. On the battery bar the fully charged battery value is set to 12.7 volts. The lower limit of the battery bar can be set via the battery alarm item in the main menu. If the low battery alarm is reached, a battery alarm warning will be displayed. This screen can only be exited by turning off the spot welder, then recharging your battery to a value above the battery alarm voltage and then turning the spot welder on again. By turning the rotary encoder you can set the weld pulse duration. The minimum is limited to 3 milliseconds and the maximum is limited to 100 milliseconds by default. The maximum can be changed in the system menu up to 500 milliseconds if necessary. Now let's take a look at the main menu. You can enter the main menu by clicking on the rotary encoder. The functions of this menu were not changed, but the design was improved. In the main menu you can switch between the auto and manual mode. While in manual mode a pulse will be triggered by pushing the foot switch, in auto pulse mode a pulse will be triggered by just touching the nickel strip with both welding tips. Set the auto pulse delay time, which is the delay before a pulse gets triggered when both welding tips touch the nickel strip. You can set the battery low voltage alarm, which is by default 11 volts. This will also be the lower limit of the battery bar and the limit to trigger the battery alarm screen. And you can set the short pulse duration, which is by default 12% of the pulse time. The short pulse is meant to preheat and clean the weld spot before the main pulse happens. You can change it, but 12% is usually a good value to work with. Ok, now let's take a look at the new system menu. This menu is hidden during normal operation of the spot welder. You can enter the system menu by holding down the rotary encoder button and then powering up the spot welder. As soon as the system menu is displayed, you can release the rotary encoder button. There are some new menu items in this menu. The max pulse sets the maximum welding pulse time that can be set during normal operation on the main screen. The default is set to 100 milliseconds. You can increase this value up to 500 milliseconds, however, be careful when using such high pulse times with a powerful car battery. In the battery calibration menu, you can calibrate the measured battery voltage. Due to some parts tolerances, the measured battery voltage can be off by 0.1 to 0.2 volt. The current measured battery voltage will be displayed. You then measure your actual battery voltage with a voltmeter and enter this value by rotating the rotary encoder. Pressing the encoder button causes the offset to be recomputed and saved. Next is the display function. This function can rotate the display by 180 degrees. This is useful in some mounting configurations of a spot welder so you don't have to read everything upside down. Finally, let's take a look at the boot menu. The reboot function will simply reboot your spot welder so you don't have to unplug power and power up again to leave the system menu. The save reset resets all values to factory default except the weld counter, the battery offset and the display orientation and then reboots the spot welder. And the full reset resets all values to factory default and then reboots the spot welder. Please note that the reboot will only work if you do have the OptiBoot bootloader flashed to your Arduino Nano. Without this bootloader, the Arduino will go to an infinite reboot loop and start blinking. To reboot without the new bootloader, simply wait about 5 seconds after you click reboot and then unplug power. After this, simply power up the spot welder and it will enter the normal operation mode. For more detailed information about how to update the spot welder with the new software, take a look at the links in the video description. Thanks for watching and if you do have any questions, please leave a comment below this video.